What's up Bitcoin devs? This is video one in a series on the Bitcoin Dev Kit CLI tool. In this video, I'm going to install the tool and make sure it's ready to go on our machines. And in other videos, we're going to take a look at the basic workflow of the tool, how to generate a wallet, how to receive Satoshis, and how to work with PSBTs to construct transactions and broadcast them. Let's go. The CLI is a tool that leverages the Bitcoin Dev Kit library. It only exposes part of the library, but it's a great tool for testing and exploring Bitcoin wallets on your command line and learning about descriptors, Miniscript policy, uh, PSBTs, and just the Bitcoin Dev Kit in general. So the first thing to know is that the Bitcoin Dev Kit is built in Rust and the CLI tool is also written in Rust. And so the first thing we're going to need is to install the Rust toolchain. First hit in a search engine is good. I'm going to grab this line and I can paste it in a terminal. In my case, I already have the Rust tool chain, so I don't need to do that. There's a few different ways you can install the BDK CLI tool, including building it from source. Um, you should check out a README for that. In this case, we're going to install directly from the package repository. Rust comes with a package manager called Cargo. With Cargo, you can install libraries and binaries from crates.io, which is the official repository for packages for Rust. Crates.io is similar to NPM or PyPy or Maven Central. So I'm going to make sure that I have Cargo installed here. Cargo version. I do have it. From there, I'm going to go on crates.io and search for BDK CLI. There's only one, and we're on version 0 0.3.0 right now. This is the line that I want, and I'm going to paste it into my terminal. In my case, it's already installed. From there, I can test that the tool's been installed by running a command using bdk cli and then help. And there you have it. 